Yeah. Hey guys, this is Theta. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to record Dolphin replay files, or in general Super Smash Bros. replay files from Project M or Brawl, and how to record them 60fps, 1080p with shadow play on uh, Dolphin. This is also going to show you how to convert, uh, well, actually you don't actually need any conversion, but how to read replay files from your Wii, the .bin files. You can read those directly with Dolphin. Um, you don't need to do any conversion or anything like that. It's just there's a way you get, there's one thing you have to check that makes them readable, so it's not that hard. Um, this works only this recording method, I should say, works only for replay files. Um, or on Dolphin 4.0.2, so you can record in game too, but um, that's only useful for offline. So for at the moment, this is not useful for recording netplay unless in netplay you take you like you know save record replay files. Um, so let's get right to it. There's a few options you need to change. Uh, first, go to config. Make sure that audio is your frame limit. Make sure that in audio your DSP is set to LLE. And if you can, set it to a separate thread. It's not necessary, but it helps. Yeah, it's for smooth. Uh, and X Audio 2 is the backend you should be using. This will get rid of any and all in game actual engine stutters in the audio that you might have with HLE. Next, inside Wii, make sure insert ST card is checked. And that's for, for the config. For graphics, um, make sure that you are forcing 16 by 9 or. Uh, you can use stretch to window also. Uh, I use 69 just so I'm, you know, it's correct. Uh, useful screen is checked. Render domain window is checked. The resolution is auto. And make sure you're using Direct 3D9. Then, main enhancements. Uh, none of this actually matters. The only thing that matters here is 3D vision is checked. So make sure that that's checked there. And then any of these settings, advanced and hacks, can uh, be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. And the last thing is in GameCube pad. Make sure that background input is checked for whatever controller you're using, whether it be keyboard or the actual GameCube controller, or Xbox, doesn't matter. Uh, make sure that background input is checked. Next, uh, we're going to go into the SD card here. So, uh, normally you get to put like, you know, repo files in a certain folder. Project M actually lets you just put them right into the Project M folder and along with PF. So here I have some replays from uh, my Wii, and there's, you know, whatever name they were from the actual SD card I was using, so I'm going to drag them into this folder so that RP is below PF. Then to make them readable, I'm going to highlight them all, go to File Properties, and make sure Archive is checked. That will make it so that these files are readable by Dolphin and are able to, you know, be viewed. So once that's all set up, you are good to go. Uh, make sure Shadowplay is running, obviously. Once the game starts, it will be full screen by default, and you will be a lot faster inside the menus because it will be running by the audio. Uh, so I'm getting in game here, and there we go. Once you're in game here, you can see that these are replay files and they're readable by the game, which is great. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start recording with uh, Shadowplay at Alt F9, that's my key, and so I'm gonna uh, just let this play out really quick. Double F9, and that's saving. And uh, so that's recorded now. Once you're ready to exit Dolphin, uh, you can go back to the menu. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter as long as you want to exit Dolphin. What you need to do is either Control Delete Alt Tab, or you use your Start button twice, which is what I do. It will say it crashed. Just click OK. And then once that's done, you can go to your videos, Shadow Play, and then Dolphin. And so here's the file. Let's check it out. And it's 1080p native, and it's running at 60 FPS. Um, yeah, so, it's a lot, in my opinion, this is, really, it, it's really easy. Um, with other programs, you might have some trouble, but if you're just recording offline stuff or replays you already have, this is great for doing that. So, this is, this has been my tutorial on doing that. I hope you enjoyed it.